Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex the Comic Recorder. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. I was watching a Key Comics Market Watch video and he had all five of this series of the DC Walmart exclusive packs. And each has four comics and a poster. This series has a poster that you can connect and then this one I believe has just a, a Wonder Woman. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for his video that he showed all of the packs. And then in this one, he didn't recognize one of the books. It's actually the second book in here, I believe. And that is the reason why I bought this one. It's the first appearance of two characters. This one, there's a really great variant that I wanted out of this one. But once again, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below because he shows all of them. Now, I also saw a post from Don the Comic Book Junkie. He had a really great Marvel, I think three pack or four pack. I'm not sure how many are in there but had a really great Venom 25. So be on the lookout at your Walmart because those babies are going for over like 40, 50 bucks on eBay right now. I don't know if that was just a day one, day two type thing, but they are certainly uh, kind of the, the hot uh, Walmart uh, pack. So I'm gonna get into these. I'll open up this Wonder Woman first, and then I'll open up this Batman and the Outsiders 13. So this is the Wonder Woman 84 uh, movie tie-in. And it's an exclusive Museum Mayhem. So let's open this one and we'll see what's inside. All right, so both of these sell for just under $9 at my Walmart. This one on eBay was selling for about $8 to $16.99. So like about $8 to $17. And the first book is this Wonder Woman. It's a first print and it's not a variant. So there's probably only one cover to this book and this is it. I think it's just a Walmart exclusive. So it's pretty good. I, I definitely picked one of the better copies. So this is definitely a 9698 without pressing right here. This is the one that I wanted. This is Batgirl 46. He also recognized this Key Comics Market Watch, recognized this as an Inhuk Lee variant cover. And I think that's pretty nice. I think that's pretty good. I'll be putting that into Mylar here pretty quick. All right, next one is this Lois Lane number 11. And it is a variant cover, as you can see by the number two there. It's a variant cover of number 11. And it's a first print variant cover. Not sure who did the art on this one. Uh, he, he goes into who does the art on some of these covers. Uh, let's see if... We can find that in here. Art on the inside looks pretty decent. Doesn't even have like a title page in here or like a splash page. All right, either way, okay cover. I'm not sure I like the uh, the mouth. As you can see there, there's uh, like teeth shining through or some like um, highlights on her lips that just don't look right. Kind of makes her look like she's got some like uh, missing teeth or something. All right, now we've got this Harley Quinn, number 73. This is a first print, and this is not a variant. Doesn't really matter who the cover artist is. Um, looks okay, not the greatest. And then this is the uh, poster inside. Got this Wonder Woman poster. I'm not really collecting these. I'm not sure who is, but uh, maybe my daughters would like that. All right, so out of this pack, the one that I really wanted was this In Hugh Lee cover. So honestly, it's a $3.99 cover price. I missed out on it at the LCS, and so I paid $8 for it. Um, I think you can still get them on eBay for less than that. Walmart is your only option. You get three other cool books from DC. So here's that one, it's going into Mylar. I do get questions about what kind of Mylar or bags and boards I use. And so I'll just tell you right now. So this is the E. Gerber fullbacks. Standard size, and the bags are E Gerber Mylites 2s, um, standard size as well. So it's the 2 mil Mylar. Oftentimes I will use more than one backing board, but for these, it just gets the single backing board. All right, there's that. Looking all spiffy in the Mylar. And while we're at it, I'll go ahead and throw this one into Mylar as well. Might as well. I've got plenty of Mylar right now. For some reason I bought just overstock of Mylar. All right, so there is that one. So the two books that made it into Mylar are these two. I think this one itself might be selling for six to eight bucks on eBay. Not, not really quite sure. If you're buying these to flip, 
definitely make sure to do your own due diligence and check those out. So now I'm gonna open up this uh, Batman and the Outsiders number 13. All right, the first book up is this Batman and the Outsiders number 13. It's a Tyler Kirkham, a standard cover. Not really reading this, but it's cool to have. This is the book that I was really excited to see in here. I don't think Key Comics Market Watch recognized what this was, but this is Legion of Superheroes number six. And it's the first appearance of this Gold Lantern as well as Monster Boy. So definitely check this out. I don't know if this is going for anything. I'll check the price right now. But um, I know there was a little hype about this Gold Lantern and then this Monster Boy. Uh, I don't know much about Monster Boy, but I know that this is a key for that purpose. All right, so in June and July, this book was selling from anywhere from 10, 13. Actually, the $13 sale was just in um, in August, late August. So recent sale of about $13.50. Without doing an extensive look, it looks like uh, in June there was a high sale of about $15. And it looks like about that $13 is, yeah, there was uh, actually one sold today on eBay for $13.99. So that's pretty cool. Um, $8 pack. You could sell this for $13. Is it worth it? Probably not. But if you wanted that character, um, which I did, I wanted that first appearance of Gold Lantern. And bonus is first appearance of Monster Boy. Who knows what they'll do with these guys in the future. But I was I was starting to read this. The Rose and Thorn stuff in the prelude kind of threw me off. But uh, maybe we'll catch back up with that and see how it is. Last two books in this are this really cool Hawkman number... 24. Not really sure who the cover artist on that is, but it's really neat. Um, Safani, maybe? Uh, Zafino. Not really familiar with that, but really cool looking. Who knows? We'll, we'll see if this one ends up in Mylar. It's pretty neat, actually. And then we've got this Tyler Kirkham, Aquaman number 60. This one probably will go into Mylar and maybe that Hawkman, just because they're cool looking covers. So let's throw those into Mylar. And this is the poster in the back. You've got Batman's arm, you've got Catwoman, Harley Quinn, Robin Nightwing, pretty cool. Here's the Aquaman 60 in the nice Mylar. And one of the reasons why I use standard Mylar for modern books is you've got plenty of border around the edges. And here's that pretty cool Hawkman number 24. So just to recap on the books, that made it into Mylar, so let's see if this is kind of worth it. I know the Legion of Superheroes 6 is worth the pack alone. That's the price of admission is already paid for there. But we've got Wonder Woman, 84. I wouldn't have bought this on its own. Batgirl, 46. I would have bought this if I would have been in the LCS when it was released. And that's a really nice copy, too. You have to be careful with these getting corner dings or folds or whatnot. But yes, I would have bought this at the LCS. Hawkman 24 is kind of like a bonus. So I would not have bought this in the shop. Aquaman 60 is another bonus. Great Tyler Kirkham cover. I wouldn't have bought this in the shop if I saw it there. Um, and I guess the price of admission, all of these books together were seven, just over $17. And this one is worth about that $14. A sale just happened today for $14 plus shipping. So I would say this is worth the price of admission. Really happy to have that. And thanks once again to Key Comics Market Watch for alerting me to these cool books. And also thanks to Don the Comic Book Junkie for giving me something to hunt today with those Venom packs. I'm really hoping to find that Venom 25 Walmart exclusive. And lastly, if you have not subscribed, we're very close to 4,000 subscribers. So thank you all so much. Uh, for for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Once we hit 4,000 subscribers, I will do some sort of contest. It'll be very, very simple. We will see. I've been reaching out to 789comics.com to see if they wanted to join in on the fun with that giveaway. But either way, thank you guys once again for getting me close to 4,000 subscribers. And I can't wait for that contest to happen. Uh, leave a like and also comment down below if you like any of these books. If you think these were worth the purchase, about $17 for these, and I got some pretty decent books. So hopefully you guys are well, and I will talk to you all on the next one. See ya, bye.